Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and we are trying a slightly different angle in my backyard because the sun is setting, and of course, as if on cue, there's a train. I know I tell you this all the time, but I always feel like people may be stumbling across my channel for the first time. I live three blocks from the Long Island Railroad, so you are always gonna hear trains when I record videos outside. But anywho, this is um, a pin mail. I ordered some pins from Tea Turtle, even though I really hate ordering pins from Tea Turtle. I love the company, but their shipping is so exorbitant. And I've asked them why, and they have no good explanation. The problem is that instead of just mailing them out first class USPS like every other company mails their pins they start them out with DHL but then DHL just hands it off to USPS anyway so what the hell is the point $4.95 for a package that weighs let's see does it have the weight on it it actually doesn't but I mean it's super super light I know when I mail things in padded mailers USPS and they're under, I think, 13 ounces. Tops, they cost $3.50 to mail. Tops. Maybe $4 if I really, you know. No, actually, $4, I don't think. I think it would have to be over 13 ounces to come out to be $4. I mean, $4.95 doesn't sound like a lot. But when I know damn well that it would be cheaper USPS, I don't get why Tea Turtle is obsessed with starting things out at DHL. Because DHL does not deliver it to your door. They hand it off to USPS. What the hell is the point? That is my biggest, biggest, biggest gripe with Tea Turtle. I, I just, it drives me batty. I would order so much more from them if they offered free shipping at a set amount. They do not. Doesn't matter if you order $1,000 worth of stuff, your ass is still paying to have it shipped. But anyway... They had a sale, I think it was 30% off pretty much everything, and their pins usually run $5 each, so I'm gonna check and see. Another train, choo choo choo. Um, I'm just kind of pulling this out of the way because it may have my address on it. Just checking my, yeah, DHL Domestic Parcel Ground. Pfft, as if it's called USPS people, DHL always passes it off. And one of my pins is highlighted, so I really hope that doesn't mean that it's not in here. But it, yeah, it doesn't even have the price or anything, so that's really totally not useful. It's just a packing slip. It's not actually an invoice. But the pins were $5 a piece, and I'm pretty sure it was 30% off, so they came out to... I want to say what? Let me just do rough rough justice, as Judge Judy would say. Actually, as Judge Marilyn Millian would say, she always does some rough justice when she tries to do math off the top of her head. I live for court shows. Um, I don't know. What's a third off of $5? A third off of $6 would be $2 off, and it's only $5, and that would actually be 33% would be $2 off. So I don't know. Dollar fifty off? We'll, I will say they were like three fifty each, roughly. I'm guessing, I don't know, something like that, 350, 360, whatever. The pins themselves are very, very affordable. It's just the damn shipping. Oh, it drives me bad shit. But anyway, okay, guys. And of course, as you can imagine, this is in no way sponsored. Tea Turtle has never sponsored me. Everything I buy from Tea Turtle, I have bought with my own money. But I bought five pins, and here we go. This is the first one, and it's like really wonkily displayed on this backing card. Let me straighten it so it looks cute. But I got this one. It says I Heart Crafting and it is an octopus. And I made sure I counted because I've legit seen stuff that people claim are octopi and they only have like six or seven legs. And it's like, no, that's a septopod or like, I don't know, what's one with six? Heptopod, something like that. I don't remember. That's what, um, that's what Hank was, I think, in Finding Dory. I think he just had six legs, but I made sure I counted. It does actually have eight, because the way my OCD brain works, that would have pissed me the hell off. But look at how cute it is. It's got like the painter's palette. It's cutting out a heart. It's got a hot glue gun. It's got yarn. It's like knitting or something. It's just so cute. I just thought that was adorable. And I know my friend Jen at Beetle Bay bought this sign in a t-shirt. So yes, they make it in a pin too, Jen, if you're going to start pin hoarding like me. Um, one of the few things I'm going to continue to hoard. I'm trying to stop. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not feeling four more things. I'm feeling three more things. They better explain to me where the hell my narwhal pin is. But anyway, okay, the next one is this cute little bunny, and it's got little daisies in its hand, and it's so, so, so sweet. 
and I love it. And I'm really, really, really pissed off that all I have here is a packing slip with a highlight that shows me an item. No note at the bottom saying this will be shipped separately or this is not in stock. I was charged for it, so I'm really freaking pissed. So T Turtle's gonna get a strongly worded email, that's for damn sure. I don't know why they have to fail me. Like, I wanna buy from them more, and every time I do, I end up being disappointed. This one I thought was adorable too. It is a little porcupine. Is it a porcupine or a hedgehog? I think it's a porcupine. I don't know. It could be a hedgehog, but it's this antisocial, and I love it because that's really me. I'm not actually antisocial. I just get a lot of anxiety around people, so sometimes the world is too peopley, and I do just like to keep to myself. There was supposed to be a narwhal in here. Apparently, there isn't. Thanks for not telling me anything, T Turtle. That's awesome. And since we didn't get all five, the fourth one. I know it's a little conceited. I mean, I don't by any means think I am Foxy, but I just thought that this was really cute Foxy nerd because it was rocking the glasses and I just thought it was adorable. So I got that one as well. And as I said, I have an invoice or I have a packing slip with Norwell pen highlighted and nothing on here indicating that it's coming separately. Nothing on here indicating that they're sorry they're out of stock. They're refunding the difference. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I am going to have to go in and write to Tea Turtle and ask what the fuck because that's really super irritating. But anyway, let me take these all out of the bag so you can see them a little better. You know, I'm, this is so just not my day today, I swear. I was so looking forward to this because they actually send you updates to let you know when it's out for delivery and they send you an update to let you know when it has been delivered so while my husband and I were out at the movies before watching the Avengers um, I knew that my you know before we started watching the Avengers I knew that my pins had come but there are the two and they just have one pin back each if I didn't show you that I don't think I did and that's the back of the car with the cute tea turtle and then um, these two here and now I'll have to find out where the hell my narwhal is. But anywho, guys, I would definitely be much more likely to order from Tea Turtle if, one, their shipping was cheaper, and two, they were actually reliable in terms of giving you information as to whether or not all of your items are coming and maybe let you know if they weren't. And I'm really going to be pissed off if they just refund my money now because I'm not going to be able to get this pin now again at 30% off unless they run the sale again. So I would hope that they're just intending to send me the pin when it gets in stock. But again, it would have been nice to get an email or some sort of notification from Tea Turtle to indicate what the hell is going on. So I will be writing them and or calling them. It's after 5 o'clock, so I'm sure no one will answer the phone. Although I think they might be West Coast based, so I might be able to do that. No, they're in Missouri. I don't even know what time zone that is, but whatever. It is what it is. They will hear from me. I will get my pin or I will get my money and I will definitely let you guys know what happens. So, yeah. So much for that. That was going to be a really fun, happy video, and now I'm all irritated. So <laughs> I'm going to shut up and end right there. But buyer beware. Tea Turtle does make some great stuff. Just don't hold your breath on actually getting it for an affordable shipping rate or actually at all because it may not even come. I will be back soon with more stuff, guys. And again, I will keep you updated as to what happens with my missing pin. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.